Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Illustrator Scripting Quick Tip Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you all about CMYK and RGB. These two color profiles are things you'll need to know for both the document side of things as well as changing things like the fill and stroke colors inside of your projects. There's a very easy way to manage and create them, so today I'm going to be going over how to do this as well as how to do things like change the color space inside of your project. Before we get started, I just want to remind you down below, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of when new scripting videos are coming out on the channel. And down in the description in the GitHub link, there's a link to this code that you can use yourself. As well down there, follow us on Instagram to get live updates. And of course, if you want to get external help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and tons of other useful things in this space, join the Discord server. And if you want to help support the channel and get cool perks at the same time, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP on YouTube. So this script right here is basically just more of like a definition that I'm going to be using to go over how everything is made and how to manage things. So of course, when you start off with any project in Illustrator, you have a document, which is basically representative of your whole Illustrator project uh, that you have open. So I have a variable here referring to my document. If I wanted to change the color space of my document between RGB and CMYK, well, you can do this and you just set the document color space of the document equal to our document color space object as CMYK, or you can also use uh, RGB. And this will set whatever the colors inside of that particular document are going to be utilizing. So if you had this set to RGB and you gave it a CMY color, it's not going to necessarily work the same as if you gave it uh, the CMYK color space. So if you already know what color space you're going to be working in or need to work in a specific one with your script, this is how you can set that up through any of your documents. Now, you can also create these color objects to represent uh, the color itself, and then later use these to set things like the colors of any of your shapes or the default fill or stroke colors. So, for example, here, I've created a new CMY color, and this is just an object built into the script, and basically, I've just called it CMYK, and to create a new object, you just have to say new, just like when we're setting up a new window in a script UI. And then the object type is a CMYK color, and we're going to create that object. And this will basically give us an empty object, which we can fill with the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black inputs. So in this case, I've just filled this in with 30, 30, 0, and 0. And these will be just a random CMY color that I've generated. This doesn't mean it's been applied to anything yet, it just means that this color is now represented by this variable and I can use it however I wish. So here I've opened up a blank document inside of uh, Illustrator. You can see right now my default fill is white, my default uh, stroke is black. But now that I have a variable set up for my document and I've set it to the CMYK color space and defined a custom CMYK color, what I'm now gonna do is grab the default fill color property of our document and set it to that color. So if I run this script, you can see my new default color is going to be equal to this CMYK color object I created. And of course, you can go in and adjust the values and change it to your liking. And as long as I change it, it's going to turn into that CMYK color. Now we can do the same exact thing with uh, RGB. So first, what I'm going to do is create a color space that is RGB instead of CMYK. And in this case, we're just creating a variable called RGB, simple representation, a new object of type RGB color, and pretty simple, you need a red, a green, and a blue property, which in the range is going to be from 0 to 255. So in this case, I'm going to max out my red and green, and then I'm going to set my document default stroke color to be this RGB. So if I go ahead and run this, and I actually think I need to set these equal to the actual names because I'm in such a bad habit of just abbreviating things. And now if I run this, it's going to change my stroke color to be exactly what the color I defined with my RGB object is. And again, you can use these uh, CMYK color objects and RGB color objects in different ways. You can use it to change actual uh, colors and fills and strokes of shapes. You can do it to change the default fill and stroke of a document. And there's tons of other applications to use them for. That's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can download the code for this on GitHub. Follow us there and follow us on Instagram to get live updates. If you want to join the community and get extra help as well in expressions, plugins, extensions, and scripting, join the Discord server. 
And of course, you can help support the channel and get cool perks on YouTube by becoming a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.